Hi guys, it's great to have you here again. Um, pag-usapan natin ngayon ay watercolors. Marami kasing nagtatanong kung ano ba yung okay na watercolor na pwedeng gamitin, um, saan siya makukuha, anong brand, anong okay, ano yung hindi okay. Uh, maraming katanungan na ganun. So ngayon, um, naisip ko na to make a video about it and um, iisa-isahin natin yung mga watercolors. So for example, ito, Prang. Uh, Prang baby kasi ako. So ever since nag-start akong mag uh, watercolor or to be serious about watercolor is Prang yung gamit ko. So, meron siyang available na 8 colors and 16 colors. And the price ranges from 240 to 460 dun sa pwedeng mabilhan. And I will link it down below. Pero meron din kayo makikita na mas mahal na pwedeng umabot ng 500 plus. Pareho naman silang pag binuksan mo, meron silang mixing plate dito sa tabi. Tapos, um, bilog yung uh, pan nila tapos uh, natatanggal to so kapag naubos yung isang color or yung isang pan pwede yung palitan nakakabili naman ng individual um, pans para mapalitan yung mga gusto yung palitan tapos pwede rin tong matanggal like that na um, para mas madaling um, matanggal din yung pan kung gusto nyo um, but usually hindi naman na siya kailangan tanggalin ng buo pero kung gusto niyo siyang linisin pwede niyo rin siyang tanggalin tapos tanggalin niyo yung mga pans tapos linisin niyo yung um, isang unit na to tapos okay na ulit uh, malinis na ulit siya kung nauusi kayo pero <laughs> usually iniiwan lang talaga siya ng ganyan kasi after a while magiging ganyan ulit yung itsura niya and then eventually tatama rin ka na lang talagang maglinis <laughs> so may iwan na lang talaga lahat ng remnants ng um, ginagawa mo dyan so dito kasi obviously gamit na gamit siya no? kasi ito talaga yung madalas kong gamitin matagal ko na kasi talaga siyang uh, ginagamit um, hindi never ako actually nag try ng ibang um, watercolors before and up until na parang naging um, mas mas maraming gumagamit sa kanya and then nagkaroon ng mas maraming available na brands so lately lang talaga ako nagtry ng iba-ibang brands so Yun. And um, of course, the price is cheap as well. So, okay to na for a start. So, let's move on to Koi. Um, actually, Sakura brand. So, ito yung Sakura Koi na pan. Um, merong Sakura na uh, matte watercolors. Uh, tube siya. Um, and merong koi watercolors na tube version. So, iba-iba to. Um, but I, I assume that the koi watercolors na pan and the koi watercolors na tube are the same. So, mas marami lang uh, paint na available for for tube. Um, ay hindi, mali, ano pala mas marami pala available na watercolors sa pan kasi merong 48 colors ang koi watercolors na pan so yan um, of course the price is much higher uh, and um, ito sila so when you choose between these three depende kung ano yung um, gusto mong mangyari or ano ba yung usually yung na ginagawa mo when you're using watercolor. Are you gonna travel with it? Or are you just going to use it in your home? Um, kasi if you're going to travel then much better if you get the koi uh, 
pan version compared to the koi tube or even the sakura mat tubes. Um, kasi syempre, uh, nagta-travel ka so kailangan compact. Tapos, kailangan ka siya sa bag mo. And then, syempre, pag, may, pag watercolor kasi marami kang paraphernalia na kailangan. So, okay din yung meron siyang added accessories. Di katulad ng tube na eto lang siya tapos ang laki-laki niya ang bulky niya tapos um, bukod pa doon ang dami niya um, unless you're like gonna be out out for for so long na parang kailangan mo ng maraming paints to go with you but if you don't really need that much paint then you don't need to get the tube version and take them all with you uh, that is also um, the same with the uh, Sakura matte color so maigi talaga na lalo na if nagdo-drawing ka on, on the go uh, mas maigi na to have something like this na in a compact unit na you have all the colors that you need tas meron siyang kasamang uh, water brush pero itong set na to ginamit ko kasi yung water brush kasi hindi ko na alam kung saan nalagay but it, it should be there kasama yun sa set and um, of course may kasama siyang mixing plate and um, bukod dun may, yung takit niya pwede rin gawing mixing plate so let's move on to Pebeo um, I have here the 18 piece set there's also 12 piece set which is um, so nag range from 350 to 600 so it's significantly cheaper compared to the Sakura brand and um, Pebeo is actually a good brand um, if you're looking for a cheaper brand na okay naman ang performance uh, I actually recommend Pebeo um, I also recommend this to my students kung naghahanap sila ng maayos na watercolor tapos um, in a much cheaper value and to be honest um, I, since I've used Pebeo before and I've also tried out the Koi Pebeo is much more pigmented and um, mas okay yung performance niya in terms of blending and um, blooming which I will discuss later on so let's move on to a Chinese brand. This is Superior and it ranges from 500 to 1,200 pesos. Um, the 500 is 18 colors and the 1,200 is the 48 which I have here. Um, it's very much like the Koi watercolors, yung pan version. Um, meron siyang kasamang um, mixing palette. And um, ito, meron siyang parang slots so that you can connect your mixing palette to your um, watercolor case. So you have a lot of mixing spaces right here with the cover and the mixing plate for your convenience. And it also includes two uh, water brushes. So okay to kasi at least Kung magta-travel ka, um, just fill them up with water. You don't need to bring your mixing cup. Uh, iwas bulkiness na lang rin yun. Tapos, uh, ang maganda dito, natatanggal siya. Ayan o. No? Um, pwede mong tanggalin per pan. Na, halimbawa, kapag naubos na yung um, isang color, pwede mo siyang i-replace. Push lang sa ilalim and that's it. Andali lang. Um, hindi ka tulad dun sa koi na iisang buong unit. So, hindi mo sila matatanggal. You can't change it. Um, and then, uh, may kasama rin siyang dalawang sponges for you to dry your brushes or um, to remove um, excess water when you are doing your piece. Maraming magandang reviews about the superior and um, it's it's uh, a good 
I think it is a better version of Koi, um, if I may say so. Uh, although meron pa rin siyang mga colors na very chalky, um, especially yung mga lighter colors, kasi uh, it's either the mixture or the pigment itself. Um, tatandaan natin, these are student grade materials, so the quality isn't really uh, that good. Um, but it'll have to do. Oh, let's move on naman to Mother Russia. Charot! Yeah. So, nakita ko lang to actually sa Lazada, uh, Sonnet Studios. Um, and I got curious kasi first time kong makakita ng Russian brand. And um, hindi na rin naman masama yung presyo. It's 695 for the 18 colors. And um, what I have is the 995 pesos, which is the 24 colors. Um, I didn't expect it to be this big actually, pero maganda yung size niya. And uh, marami siyang colors. And I've already tried this one. And I must say that it is cheap than Koi and has a much better performance. Um, and it is better than um, Prang. Ang problem lang sa kanya is since nakalagay siya sa cardboard, uh, uh, exposed siya when, when you take out the seal. So what I did is I got um, an empty tin, a watercolor tin. Um, nabibili to um, individually. So, hindi ko alam na magkakasya silang lahat dito sa loob ng sobrang snug. But, uh, it did and uh, actually nga, masaya nga. Happy ako dyan. Yan. So, at least meron siyang cover. Hindi siya exposed sa elements. Um, it'll be easier for you to take care of this uh, type of watercolor, lalo na na may tin siya. And, of course, ang maganda dun, meron siyang kasamang um, mixing area. Nabili ko yung tin case sa Art Bar, which is um, available in both Lazada and Shopee. So, pwede nyo mabili yun. May mas malaki pang version, which is a 355. Um, kaya ko lang to tinatabi kasi uh, hindi ko pa na, na, nalilabelan yung mga colors na tin transfer ko sa tin. So, ayan o, no, naka-coordinate pa sila eh. So, yun. Ah, ako napansin nyo, wala rin pala yung white. Kasi hindi na talaga siya kasha. So, I transferred it somewhere else. Sabi sa kanya nung mga ibang colors, You can't sit with us. Charot. So, when you get your watercolors, um, swatching is one way to identify which colors are what you need to watch out for or kung ano ba talaga yung magandang colors nung um, watercolor na nabili mo. So, what you can do is you can make something like this, like a chart, kung medyo OC ka. Um, pero kahit naman walang chart, okay lang. Um, kung gusto mo ng random swatches, okay lang yun. Um, eto nagiging May pagka lang ako ng slide. So, kaya ako gumawa ng chart para at least mas madaling mag-compare side by side. Um, you can do something like this. Uh, and then, you can use uh, waterproof ink. So, merong um, waterproof ink na uh, unipin. Uh, um, okay yan. Hindi yan talaga nagsasmudge. So, you can put in... Um, the codes of uh, the watercolor or yung hue na meron available yung sets nyo and um, you can just write it down and then syempre dun mo ilalagay yung coordinating colors mo uh, when doing swatching you can use whatever brush type that you have um, doesn't have to be a round or a flat Bala kayo kung ano yung convenient sa inyo. Uh, for this one, I just use this kasi ito lang yung, yung hawa ko at the moment. But you can also use a flat brush para mas um, pantay yung application ng color. Um, and um, with the swatching, uh, dito nyo makikita kung 
paano mag-behave yung watercolor kung gano ba ka intense yung pigment content niya um, kung okay ba siya in terms of blending with water on paper um, kasi blending sa mixing plate and blending on paper is totally different Nabanggit ko kanina yung pigment and this is something that you need to watch out for when choosing or using your watercolors. Um, yung pigment is technically yun yung binabayaran nyo kapag bumibili kayo ng watercolor. Um, and kapag sinabing pigmented or very pigmented, uh, yun yung tinatawag na uh, con- pigment content ng watercolor. So, in other words, or in simpler terms, when you apply it on paper, um, matingkad na siya agad, or maganda na, kitang-kita na, angat na angat na yung kulay niya. Kumbaga, konting haplos, haplos, konting dab lang ng brush um, sa pan or sa, sa wherever, sa mixing plate, and then in-apply niya sa paper, lalabas agad yung kulay niya. Hindi yung nakailan ka yung application, tsaka palang lalabas yung kulay. Um, and katulad ito, yung violet ng prang, uh, siya yung pinaka-pigmented sa lahat ng kulay ng, ng prang. Kasi konting, um, konting dab ko lang ng brush from the pan and then to the paper, litaw agad yung saturated color ng violet compared sa other colors niya like red, yellow and green or even the blue um, hindi ganun ka saturated so I would say na ang pinaka pigmented na color sa prang is the violet Important din na uh, pigmented yung colors or watercolors na ginagamit natin kasi malaking tipid din kasi siya. Ang mahal kasi ng watercolors, di ba? So when you pay for it, at least man lang yung ginagamit yung kulay ay very pigmented para at least nasusulit nyo siya all throughout the times na ginagamit nyo siya. Hindi yung nakailang sausaw na kayo dun sa palette or sa pan or sa colors tapos wala pa rin yung kulay na gusto nyong lumabas. So, wala, tayo, wala na tayo magagawa kung talagang faded yung color nung, nung uh, whatever watercolor na ginagamit nyo. Kasi hanggang dun lang talaga siya. Because hanggang dun lang yung pigment niya. And that is also why uh, I also um, like the Sonnet Studio because it is very pigmented um, compared to Prang and Koi. And the price range is also um, not bad. What you can see here is naglagay ako ng black strip sa gitna ng chart. Um, ang reason for that is para kapag nag-apply ka ng watercolor, kita mo kung gano'ng ka-transparent yung watercolor mo. Um, if you look at some charts or some rows or some colors, merong mga colors na uh, lumilitaw sa sa black strip. So, uh, ibig sabihin nun, may mga pigments na natitira sa ibabaw ng color or watercolor. Um, hindi maganda yung mixture ng paint. Um, o, or may mga tinatawag na chalky sediments na may kita or ma, pag nirun nyo yung finger nyo sa color, merong um, didikit sa kamay nyo or sa finger nyo. Ganun. Usually naman sa mga student grade watercolors, hindi talaga may iwasan yun kasi nga um, economical version ang student grade watercolor. Um, and uh, to be fair with the Sonnet Studios, um, konti lang naman yung mga colors na ganun. So, I still think that it is a good way, uh, it is a good 
brand to use. Also, when doing swatching or just in general watercolor 101, always wash your brush before applying another tone or color or water. Kasi kahit halimbawa ganito, na dapat water lang or ang ang i-apply ko, pero hindi ko hinugasan ng maayos yung brush at inapply ko siya sa swatch. Hindi na siya nag blend, wala nang gradient na nangyari. Wala na <laughs> flat na siya. So humalo na yung watercolor. And so always, always wash your brush and um, when you apply for swatching, um, pigmented color muna and then thoroughly clean your brush and then apply the water sa other end and let them blend on the paper sa middle para dun mo malalaman kung talaga bang nagbe-blend or maganda yung blending ng watercolor na binili nyo. And speaking of blending, that's how you tell if maganda yung blending ng watercolor nyo. And um, there's another one which is what we call blooming na you add watercolor or the hue first sa ilalim and then habang basa pa siya, you apply um, different colors on it para makita mo kung nagbe-blend ba siya on its own or nagsistay lang siya in place which kind of happen here Madalas kasi na uh, technique for watercolors is the wash technique or the wet on wet technique so importante yung blending and blooming for the watercolors na bibilhin nyo kasi otherwise you'll end up with blotches of colors or unwanted dried blotches of colors so always remember that you need to look out for the pigment content of your watercolor the transparency of your watercolor um, the color blending that's very important as well and of course um, the blooming which you can test out naman um, when you buy your watercolors and of course the price very important Thank you guys for hanging out with me today and I hope na meron kayo natutunan kahit konti. Um, I hope na makatulong sa inyo tong video na to on how you choose or uh, how you buy your watercolors. Um, as I've said before, uh, everything is linked down below. You can find the watercolors that I've presented here um, in Lazada and in Shopee as well. Um, the prices may vary uh, depende kung saan kayo bibili or anong shop yung bibilhin nyo um, but for now thank you all for watching and I'll see you soon bye